Basically, we call it an E trike. The E indicating the electric component. So, in the back on these guys, we have hub motors. So, it's hard to see on this side, but right in the center of the wheel is a motor. And then we have the same thing on the other side. So, it's dual motors in the back. And then in the front, we have front wheel drive human power. So, the human power is really unusual. Check this out. So, the, as you can see, the chain is going to the front wheel from the pedals. And we have a sweet little universal joint mechanism in there that allows the power to transfer through even during turns without any chain twist. So that basically solved the front wheel drive problem and allowed us to create a modular system. So this frame, so that's actually uh, a transmission in there that's not a motor. It's called the Nuvinci and it's a uh, continuously variable transmission, which is pretty sweet. So take a look up here. This is the shifter for that. You'll notice there's no clicks, it's just smooth. So wherever you stop, you're in gear at that percentage. It's really, really a nice advanced system on that. There's your electrical display. There's a throttle set up here, so the electric is basically engaged in real time according to the needs of the driver. Got some beefy brakes. And then the other uh, main feature here is, you can see some bolts here. So this front frame from here forward and then from here back are two frames that actually bolt together. Now that's made possible by the front wheel drive system. So we don't have any chains going back there. There's no transmissions, uh, no differentials, really no guts in the back except electrical. So there you're looking at the battery tray. And uh, cause that's the, uh, one of the great advantages of the hub motors is that you just get electrical, uh, electrical wire to the wheels. So very simple mechanically in the back. And the fact that we're able to break down the front and the rear frames here, basically the, the main advantage there is that we can do different size rear frames mated with the same front frames. So for example, for UPS, we do a bigger box and a bigger rear frame. This rear frame is 38 and a half uh, inches wide, which is our mini. And we do a 48 inch wide, which is our standard for UPS. And the standard trike is also longer. This one is 51, the standard is 58. And then we do a taller box for those guys. We take the box all the way up to the top of the canopy. So you can imagine now for, for that UPS box, we've got 48 wide, 58 long, roughly 68 tall. It comes out to over 100 cubic feet. Can handle about 600 pounds of payload. It's got a 48 volt system. 23 amp hours per battery. Uh, extra batteries available for those that need more range. And uh, you know, you gotta maintain the human power element. It's very, very efficient. So here we'll show you the back. We got all our standard light system. This is one of our early prototypes on the box. So we actually have wooden shelves in there. We're doing aluminum shelves now. But uh, yeah, a couple of different depths and uh, the, the heights are adjustable. This particular box has about 55 cubic feet of volume in it, which as you can see is still pretty substantial. And we chose this particular height because it's still, still a height that most drivers can see in the back. So when they're driving, you can still see the back. For the UPS track, we put mirrors on there and then we're looking now into the rear view cameras. So that's our battery tray. This is a, uh, this is actually an older system of ours, but it's a uh, quick swap system. So <clears throat> we try to secure that because these lithium batteries are crazy expensive. Um, but basically there's a tray there with the battery on it. And typically you'll keep a, a battery, you know, at your home base charged up so that you can do a quick swap and keep on going. Because the batteries typically take six or eight hours to uh, charge up. What's the runtime? We, we indicate 12 to 18 miles. Uh, it, it could be, it could be a lot more, it could be less. Um, you know, it depends on hills, depends on how much the driver's pedals, things like that. The uh, electrical system is basically emulates, uh, you know, e-bike systems. So uh, this here you're looking at is the controller. 
So that basically interfaces between the battery pack and the hub motor. Here it's easier to see the hub motor because our brakes, and then deep you can see the brake rotor. So uh, this is identical to the left side, they're not mirror imaged. So here it's really easy to see the, the motor that's built into the wheel. And so that is fed power from the controller, which is fed power from the batteries. Here you can see we've got a driver canopy. We've got an opaque top, so you get sun protection besides rain protection. This one is set up fairly narrow. We do a wider version too, which basically handles uh, a lot of the, most of the rain issues. Um, for UPS, we also do a soft additional door in case they need it with really bad weather. But basically this is gonna handle sun and rain in most situations. And really the, uh, the, the secret sauce is the front wheel drive. That's what makes so many of the other design features uh, work. So if you guys need some more information, contact us at trucktrike.com. I'm Bill, this is my business of about 10 years so far now. A lot of energy out of the battery. So you gotta be smart and not use so much electric on the level and the downhill. So does it recharge when you're going? No, but we're working on that. So regenerative braking will probably happen next time. Thanks, Bill. All right, Dave. See you soon. That was my longtime friend, Bill, that I just ran into on this bike event here in Portland, Oregon. I appreciate your time out, Bill, for uh, walking us through that cool-ass trike bike. Uh, you guys, if you want more information, click the link down below, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Unbox Flicks. Peace.